Our show this year is called Lift. It is based off of the concept of moving forward and rising above, coming out of something that was once nothing and becoming something great. It really works with what we've accomplished in the past year, and I think that it's a really good theme for our core, and it really represents what we're trying to accomplish this year. Our music this year is more challenging than it has been in the past, along with our drill which has really helped us to push forward and get to a whole new level as performers all together. There's actually many favorite parts of mine, but my specific favorite part is just being able to push. You kind of find who you are in the marching activity. You're pushed beyond your limits. You're pushed to like the brink of no return, and it just makes you a better performer. It makes you a better person. I just love it. The source uh, material that we used uh, this year, Come Sweet Death by J.S. Bach. Uh, that sets the tone uh, with a pre-intro uh, of something actually composed uh, by a few of us on the design team taking all of the elements of the show. Uh, the second number, uh, we move into Brothers in Arms. Uh, it's a Junkie XL piece, and um, it was in the, one of the Mad Max movies. Um, that's kind of a little bit more up-tempo kind of traveling music. Um, we then move into the ballad by Peter Gabriel and Kate Bush, Don't Give Up, a beautiful um, you know, duet by them back in the 80s. And again, that ties in with the lift, not giving up, persevering through tough times. And we end with the John Mackey's Aurora Wigs, ascending through the goddess of light, moving forward into um, e either the, the next life and that everything in the end will rise. So I think the idea is to Start in a play in a happy place or, or a comfortable place going through a, uh, a moment of turmoil or tragedy uh, and then coming through that and ascending to the light. Um, and uh, we that also ties in with the core having gone through you know very tough times in recent years to keep the core uh, alive and well. Uh, we are at its largest size uh, in many years and we are up to uh, I think 64 members our, our cap is 65 for our class the class a, uh, a portion of drum corps associates um, and you know it's an exciting time for the drum corps uh, you know the talent level is is has risen tremendously not only from the member standpoint but from the staff standpoint and the organization everyone's really stepped up to make this uh, a, a, a viable place for high school band directors, um, you know, and professionals and those that have marched through DCI to want to continue to, to be in this great activity. And I think, uh, I think we're on the right path to doing that. One of the things that we wanted to do with the Cincinnati tradition was uh, to market the drum corps in a way that would fit the bill for everyone. The cost of the organization is under a thousand dollars i think the dues this year was seven hundred dollars um we're very fortunate we get to perform at dci sanctioned shows as well as dca um so they're able the members are able to get the experience of performing in front of two three four thousand people at shows like alexandria or dublin or centerville uh, ohio and um, that's a very unique thing for a drum corps associate drum corps an all-age drum corps to be able to participate in and then again the the, ne the other part is making sure that the staff they have a staff that really could give them the vehicle to uh, to excel uh, in the design team and I guess if there's one more point that you know that I, I I think we really are trying to hone in on is that we only work on the weekends well we do Saturday Sundays um, and this allows them to have a life outside of um, you know, drum corps. So if you're not going to pay three thousand dollars and and go on the road for two and a half months with a, a DCI corps, you can still do drum corps on a strong level with a DCA all member corps uh, group, uh, ages averaging from 17 to 67 in the corps, which is pretty pretty neat in all in of itself. And you still can have a job, and you can still be on co-op in the summer if you're going to, for example, UC, or you can. Um, still spend time with your family. So that's where we're really angling um, why you should consider being in the core. So thank you guys.